Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today I'm making frozen margaritas. Now the ingredients you're going to need for this, we'll start with tequila. Today I've got uh, two bottles here, one is 1800 and the other is Jose Cuervo. Now the difference between the two is money. The first 1800 cost about five or six dollars more than this bottle. So what are you getting? You're getting more quality. 1800 is made with 100% agave. Jose Cuervo is, it says on the label it's just tequila, and it contains only 51% agave, which the other 49% are simple sugars and other flavorings, could be uh, glycerin, etc. So you're getting more quality for your dollar on this one. Now when you go to the supermarket, the way to tell the difference is to read the label. Every good quality tequila will say 100% agave on it. If it doesn't say that, then you know you're getting a lesser quality tequila. Now, the next ingredient we're going to need is uh, some lime juice. This is sweetened lime juice. People have asked me on my website exactly what Roses is, but I, I picked this up at BevMo and you need a bottle of that. You're also going to need some sweet and sour and some triple sec. And I've got some simple sugar here. You can buy this at the store, but it's so easy to make that you might as well make it at home. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. So making simple sugar is really simple. All we do is add a half a cup of water and a half a cup of sugar. So you want your ratio always, you can make more than that, but the ratio should always be one to one. This will dissolve the sugar and it'll be, it'll mix in nicely to all your drinks. So we just stand here and we just stir this until you'll see all the sugar dissolve and it becomes very, very clear. It only takes a few minutes and then you can store it in the refrigerator. It'll keep for several months and you'll always have it on hand. Now you can see that it's basically dissolved. So now that I've got my simple sugar ready to go, mine I made some earlier today and it's already cooled and, and ready to go into our margarita. Let's start with our glass. What we want to do is take a wedge of lime and squeeze it around the edge of the glass and then dip it into the salt. That way you get a nice little rim around your glass. Okay, so I'm going to start with six ounces of sweet and sour. I'm going to pour it into the blender. I haven't added my ice yet. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to add my tequila next and I've got three ounces of that. All right. I'm going to add an ounce of the lime juice. and an ounce of the triple sec. And now I'm going to add just a teaspoon of my simple sugar to give it just a little sweetness. Now I'm going to add the ice. And I'm going to add just enough. I want to add enough to cover it and just have the liquid touch the top of that ice. And now we're going to blend away. Now this blender is a Vitamix and it works really well for making margaritas. And smoothies, by the way. So you just pour that in there. It's nice and frozen, as you can see. And this recipe will make about two margaritas worth. Then you're going to want to uh, put a little lime on your glass so that if the, if the guest wants to squeeze a little bit, you can do it with a lime wedge. Or you can cut a wheel and set it on there. That looks good, too. So there you go. So let's give that margarita a little taste. Mm, that's really nice and refreshing. Stop by my website at cookingmexicanrecipes.com. You'll find this recipe there, and feel free to double it. I even have a recipe there for a, a large group, so you can pre-make this, and you could just be whipping out the margaritas really fast. Thanks for stopping by, we'll see you next time.